I'm sorry, but I've got to react to this. <laughs> Real Madrid 3, PSG 1 in the second leg. Real Madrid win on 3 to an aggregate. I did do a watch along last week. I didn't do it this week because I've been busy, but um, wow. Possibly one of the, the, the best games of the CL so far. Possibly one of the most best games of recent CL history. Um, I just want to make a few quick, po- quick, quick points. A few quick points. First and foremost, Benzema is arguably one of the greatest of the generation. One of the most underrated forwards of a generation. It is criminal that he has not got a Ballon d'Or as of yet. It is criminal. Benzema literally said today, Messi, give me your Ballon d'Or because you're finished. That's what Benzema said today. He had at the Bernabeu. That's what a captain does. He steps up and carries his team. And that's what it wasn't just the fact they scored the goals. It was that as the captain, he he the goal literally carried Madrid. And literally, as soon as he scored that first goal, you could sense the momentum. PSG just didn't recover. As soon as he scored the goal in the 61st minute, PSG didn't recover. This this is this is history. This is when when history and experience and professionalism prevails over basically like 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 part timers effectively part time holiday workers, which is what PSG are. And again to PSG, Messi's finished. That's one thing because I was told he was going to come and destroy Lee Gun, and he has two Lee Gun goals. And I was told he was brought in to win the Champions League for PSG. They are now out of the competition in the round of sixteen. That's the first thing. And lucky to Mbappe, but you've got to respect your elders sometimes. Okay, you've got to respect your elders sometimes. You're still young, there's still potential, there's still a lot of growth, but you've got to respect your, your elders because he was invisible um, in the second half. Scored a good goal, gave momentum, but was invisible. Um, Neymar, again, did okay first half, but gone, you know, because these are not Mbappe, Neymar, and Messi are not leaders. Okay, they're nice on the eye, but they're not leaders. They're not gonna. They're not gonna carry a team through when they're down. Um, obviously, Mbappe's gone at the end of the season. Um, I don't really know how where where PSG go from here, to be honest. Um, so because um, with Mbappe gone, if Mbappe, to be honest, hadn't even played in this game, I don't. I don't even think this would have been a bit of competition, to be honest, in terms of both legs. It just wouldn't have. So it's going to be interesting to see what PSG do do in the summer because without Mbappe, they are significantly weaker. Jeez, man, I don't know what else to say. I really, really don't know what else to say. This was I, this, this was unexpected because Madrid played so badly in Paris with no shot on target that this just, but it just goes to show you, never, ever, 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 ever underestimate Real Madrid. Like, share, subscribe.